functions, equations, absolute values, and inequalities. Today's goal is to define a function, write functions using function notation, distinguish between dependent and independent variables, and identify functions in their various forms. So how do functions help you model real-world situations? The remaining of this video will focus on the car wash. So let's focus on the price per car. So at the rate of $5 per car, how much money did the church raise if they only washed 15 cars? Did everyone get the same amount? Was this the only amount possible to have earned at this rate for 15 cars? So let's talk about what a function can do. It establishes the relationship between input and output. The definition also states that for every input, you can only result with a single output. Therefore, for this example, you can only raise $75 for washing 15 cars. So what's the most you can earn or raise in one day? And can there possibly be different amounts and why? You may very well have different answers because the amount you raise depends on how many cars you wash. So the amount is the dependent variable. How many cars you wash is the independent variable. Let's look at writing this in function notation, and it is read f of x is equal to 5x. Remember, the x variable is independent. f of x is dependent. So using function notation, you can see where at 15 cars, the amount is $75. Input is 15, $75 is your output. So a quick recap, we talked about functions. One of the things that I said in the definition uh, was that a function establishes a relationship between an input and an output. Now, also, I did say that there are various names for inputs and outputs. And those names are domain and range, X and Y, independent and dependent variable. There are all sorts of names that we use to establish a relationship between those two entities that the definition states as inputs and outputs. The absolute most important part of the definition is for every input there is one output. All right. One thing goes in, one thing comes out. That's why in this example, remember it was $5 per car. If everybody did the same fundraiser in different parts of the city and everybody washed 15 cars, that means everybody would earn $75. There's no such thing as $5 per car, then you watch 15 cars, someone gets $75, and then another person gets 90. And I'm not talking about somebody gave you tips, I'm just talking about just the straight facts. So that's what we mean by a function and having what we call a one-to-one -one relationship. There's no such thing as washing 15 cars for $5 each and you not get 75. 75 is the only possible answer at this moment.